Hello, this is Ian Noel Camelotis for Centertainment Media, and welcome to Here At. So here we are at the Macy's building in downtown Chicago to check out Valor. This is Chicago's newest all-around gaming convention, which features gaming from electronic and console gaming, PC gaming, handheld gaming, tabletop, and TCGs. It gives people a variety of different types of games that they can play and also meet people that they don't get a chance to meet when they're in their small areas. What's very unique is this is only the second year for this convention, and since it features all around gaming, you have a very unique area where you can jump from different types of areas to play. Now, the convention itself is being held at the Macy's building here in Chicago, which means it uses up two floors where you can actually visit full areas of gaming areas. So let's check out what they've got this year. message to the viewer is saying hey aside from me talking in the video here's a little this year ValorCon brought in more guests from the gaming industry many of these guests held panels to give attendees an inside look into the industry as well as external contributions on YouTube and other social media outlets
Uh, where the interesting wrinkle comes to is they wanted to find out who the bad reviewers were, uh, many of whom were anonymous. I think that a lot of game publishers and also studios have kind of done the metrics to figure out a bad review can lead to this many lost sales, which means this much less money. So they kind of, it's one of those, just because they could doesn't mean that they should. A lot of companies are trying to kind of have the flow of Two of the guests that were in attendance were the creators of Vocal Warrior, the first voice-controlled mobile fighting game, and the creators of Life of Lawn, an upcoming immersive virtual reality game. We got to sit down with these two guests this past year. So I'm here with Patrick Wang, who is the founder and creator of the new upcoming phone game, Vocal Warrior. Could you please tell us a little bit more about the game that you guys are developing? Hi. Uh... Actually, this game is what's first voice control mobile fighting game. You can think like very simple. When you say kick or punch, then the character will do this reaction. Uh, it's like a little bit like the Siri when you tell something, he will give you some response. But we are for entertainment, so this game uh, is like you can uh, you can say a lot of different uh, voice comments to control the character to do the fighting things. That's where we, uh, you know, um, can release your pressure and uh, what's more, it's like uh, uh, can make your hands free. So that means that disabled people can also play that. Okay, so that was one of the things you had in mind then, is more for anyone to be able to play but including those yeah. with disabilities. Yeah, you know, um, our company's goal is like to create more fun. So we hope not only the normal people but also people without their hands or the other parts. So right now this is for the people who maybe don't have hands and later maybe we can develop some other games that maybe for those blind people or something. So yeah, so our goal is to make more people to, to have the same gaming experience like other people. Okay, so I'm here with Josh here at Valicon and he's here to promote his new game Life of Lawn. So could you tell us a little bit more about the game that you are demoing for everyone here? Alright, so Life of Lawn is a sort of a, a confluence of a story, a ride, a game. It's all of these things mashed up into one VR experience. And you play the role of Lawn, who is on a mission of discovery to sort of figure out what's going on on the planet Paracosma. Like, he, he actually doesn't even know like why he's on this mission. He's just been thrust forward. And so, you know, that's, that's sort of his deal. He has to sort of figure out where to go and what to do. It's a huge VR exploration kind of game. Back yes, absolutely. Um, and when we say it's a story game, we don't mean like there are characters constantly talking to you. There's no exposition dumps. It's very much a the player builds their narrative as they explore the universe and things sort of happen around them. Gaming areas spread across two floors were a major part of the convention this year, with the entrance floor dedicated to console, PC, and electronic gaming along with the artist's alley, and two floors above, the trading card and tabletop gaming sharing space with all the main vendors. There were a variety of games including the Magic the Gathering Kaladesh release day tournament flights, the ever popular Super Smash Bros. tournaments, Pokemon 3DS tournaments, Overwatch, Settlers of Catan, and many more. If there were any games you've always wanted to play but didn't know how, there were even tutorials on how to play a lot of the new games at the con itself, and you were given a chance to even try them out. Any of your cards probably a little more. Yeah. And that can space off. And if you've noticed, especially if people haven't played deck builders, it's 
really nice that there's a, a draw side and yes. a side. Um, the next thing that happens is you resolve the villain abilities. There's our villain. The top half of the card tells you what his ability is. Remove this thing from the location, but there is no. Uh, the top half. Oh, the top half. Okay. Alright, hello. My name is Joseph. I'm Ellie. And today I'm going to be teaching you some of the basics for the card game of Mushrooms, Micro Shoot. So, in this card game, you're going to start three cards. Ten, five cards. You start your hand with five cards. So, you're going to draw. So, for this purpose, um, we're going to be playing with our hands revealed so we can see what we're doing. So, we're going to put our hands down. Okay. So, the objective of uh, Watch Wars is to get your, your opponent to level 4. And levels are gained by damage in a of 7. Every 7 damage, your opponent will go up a level. You start at level 0, you want to get to level 4. So, math is about 21 damage. Well, it's been a great three days for this whole weekend here at ValorCon at the Macy's building in downtown Chicago. A lot of people had a lot of fun here. There's been a lot of events from tabletop to TCGs, trading card games, and also video games and electronics. So hopefully we look forward to seeing you next year as we're going to return back at the Macy's building here in downtown Chicago. If you want any more information, do check out ValorCon.com. Well, this is Ian Noel Camelotis for Centertainment Media, and thank you for watching.